Hi, I'm Free Fallen, and I just sewed my own tether for a DMM captain. Now, while you're warming up your fingers to let me have it down in the comments for posting things that are unsafe for people to use, can we talk just for a minute about home sewing your own equipment? Ow! There's been a lot of dog piles. I remember a year or so ago, Moss posted something on Tree Buzz about uh, home sewing some equipment. Got totally pounced on for it. Uh, the conversation, every time it started up and we started having a discussion about it, kind of got shut down. Last week on Tree Life, Joey Cap posted something that, for a lot of people, looked like a pretty sketchy sewn eye. Eventually he got kicked out of the group for it. So I'm really hesitant to post this video. First of all, it's a bad idea. I know people start out like I started out thinking, hey, maybe this is a cheap way to make your own equipment. You don't have to pay all the high store prices to get something safe. Unfortunately, what I've learned is it doesn't really work that way. I'm pretty handy with a sewing machine. I've sewn a lot of things. This project in particular is two years in the making. Uh, trying different sewing patterns, trying different threads, trying different combinations, trying different sewing machines. And, and it turned in from a project of making equipment into a project of seeing what are, what's the capacity of a home sewing machine and could it actually meet safety standards. I wanted to show this to everybody. I'll do some climbing on it later and, and film that, but I, I want to show you what I made while it's all still nice and clean and pristine. So this is the captain hook. It's great for work positioning, it's great for traverses. When you tie a knot onto it, like a triple fisherman's, people complain that the knot gets hooked up uh, when you're pulling it back over the branch. and It makes it harder to get the, the hook positioned right and stay in position because the knot sometimes will, will twist the hook as it, as it comes off the branch and, and mess you up. So I wanted something clean that would match the profile of the hook, but I also wanted something that would allow me to position the hook once it's over the branch. And this is done usually by twisting the rope like this. And you can see you can, you can position that hook so that when you pull it back over the limb, uh, it's going to hook for you. So I sewed this. If you want to know some of the technical details behind this crazy idea of mine to sew this at home, the thread I used, T70 bonded nylon thread. Breaking strength is around 19 pounds. So in theory, each stitch can hold about 19 pounds of weight. In actuality, the math never works out that way. There's a lot of things to consider like stitch pattern and stitch density. How close those stitches are together and how many stitches you have really matters when you're sewing something like this. Can your home sewing machine go through that? I have a sewing machine that won't. I have another one that will. Just depends. I discovered that stitching at a 45 degree angle maximizes the amount of threads in the material that I can capture. In this case, I'm using one inch nylon webbing. It's climbing spec. It's rated at 20 kilonewtons. So after experimenting with a lot of stitch patterns, and at first I experimented with this with thread with low breaking strength. That way I could do break tests on my own and determine which stitching patterns were stronger to follow. Before I hung off this thing, the first thing I did was go out and get a break test done. Here's the result. Not bad. 3,700 pounds. And that was with my first version of this. Since then, I updated the stitching pattern, I increased the density, and I made the overall strap a little bit longer. Now I think I'm up around 18 kilonewtons in, in maximum breaking strength, which, that's the same thing the captain is rated at. It's not for life support. Neither is my strap. Use it for traversing, use it to get over the other tree, don't use it to hang off of. If it breaks at any point, you're in for anywhere from a mild to a nasty swing, but you should never trust your life with it. It's the same thing with the strap, not for life support. If you think about it, the purpose of the DMM hook is not so that you can go Tarzan through the upper terraces of the trees, so you need to get that whole idea out of your head right now. What did I just say? I said get that idea out of your head. So my point is there's a lot of work that goes into this. There's a lot of wasted material. I threw away probably 20 or 30 feet worth of webbing before I came up with this design. So this is not a cheap way to go. This is not an inexpensive way or an easy way to get equipment. Uh, this is a really slow and hard way. And even with all that work and two years worth of practicing and trying ideas and testing things, even with that, I don't have something that's ready for life support. So do not try this at home. I'm going to take it up in a tree later. I'll film it. I'll show you guys what I'm doing. I've got a bag to show you too though. I started looking at mag bags. I didn't see a design I liked, so I made my own. Also not for life support. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy these things. Leave any hate down in the comments. 
and uh, please subscribe. Or don't. I don't care. Maggie, do you care? No. Maggie doesn't care. Sorry. Climb safe.